Welcome back to my channel. WhatsApp Communities is an extremely useful feature by WhatsApp that is currently not used by a lot of people, unfortunately. I created a video a while back where I showed you how you can create WhatsApp Communities, but I'm still getting comments on that video by people asking how to create communities. That's one, but they're also asking how are communities useful for people. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 different ways that you can use WhatsApp Communities features that can actually change your change your life to be very honest here on the screen on this slide i've mentioned how communities can be helpful for you so whatsapp communities can enhance your daily life by providing support fostering learning enabling networking areas like parenting fitness mental health professional development they also facilitate community engagement and emergency response coordination let me go ahead and start 10 to 1 how useful communities can be if we move to number 10 you can use communities for mental health support, discuss mental health topics, share coping strategies and offer mutual support, extremely useful. And number nine, we've got local community news. So if you're li living in a local community, a group of residents of that specific area can share local news, events and announcements. Language learners. So if you're someone who loves learning new languages, you can create a community for people learning new languages, just like you to practice, share resources and support each other by telling each other ways to learn these new tricks and learn faster. At number seven, this is for tech geeks like myself, a group of technology enthusiasts where you guys can you know, discuss the latest tech, trends, gadgets, softwares that are coming in the market. And at number six, We've got this for small business owners, a community for entrepreneurs and small business owners to share their insights, ask for advice and build your networks. At number five, we've got travel enthusiasts. So you can create a group of travelers to share travel experiences, tips and recommendations for various destinations where, you know, you guys can travel, you've traveled at a place and then you want to share that experience to other travelers so they can take advantage of that as well. At number four, we've got something for the food lovers, cooking and recipes. You guys can create a place, a community for foodies to share recipes, cooking tips. At number three, we've got book clubs. So if you're a book lover, you can create a community. You can share and discuss your favorite books, your favorite authors and literary events. And at number two, this is for fitness enthusiasts. You guys can create a group of fitness lovers to discuss workout routines, share your progress, motivate each other to stay fit and healthy. We move to number one and at number one, we've got something for parents and I think this can be extremely useful. So parents can create a community to share tips, seek advice and support each other through the challenges of, of parenting. And this is specifically useful for new parents who just had their first baby with technology. You can take advantage of that. WhatsApp has given it to you. Anyone can create a community and take advantage in these particular areas. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.